Hi, John Ason, Director of Instruction down here at 3D Golf Performance. And I'm just going to discuss with you today some um, balance and some basically some misconceptions out there about maybe where the weight should be positioned, particularly as a, an athletic stance goes. Um, you know, there's many sports that are played and, and many of us um, feel very comfortable moving from a, a, a setup where our weight is more positioned in the balls of our feet. And, and that makes sense when you want to move, whether it's, um, you know, tennis or, or soccer, um, football, things like that. With golf, we're really not moving. We're actually trying to stay centered. And what I mean by that is we really don't want to feel like we're going to move off of our centeredness. We want to create a balanced pivot within our center. And our center for our body pivot is really the core area. And we want to make sure that when we set into our stance, the weight isn't too much forward. We actually want to create a little bit more of an ankle, almost arch to heel area, so that our hips are aligned with our ankles and our heels because they're creating the, the pivot. All right? It, it's common for us to, um, you know, set up on the balls of our feet or even some people a little bit more toe-oriented because we have to bend forward from the hips. The key is, is make sure that the back side is out enough so that the alignments take place. And again, you'd be looking down the line, not face on, because my feet may be a little bit outside of my hips, therefore the alignment of my hips aren't exactly over my ankles from this perspective. But from down the line, the whole key is, is trying to position the weight to somewhat, um, A, counterbalance the amount of force that's going to be taking place as we swing down and out. There's going to be a lot of force going forward. And we may get our weight going, traveling forward. Matter of fact, I know that that is the case, that the weight is traveling forward, but we're also rotating our left hip away from that force to help, again, stay more center balanced. And literally, that opposing force against the motion of the arms and hands keeps us in that balanced pivot to our finish swivel. So keep this in mind and try to go through a nice step-by-step -step process to get to the ball the same way. And what I suggest is always a, a, an approach where you've set up, you've bent forward from the hips with the club shaft alignment and your elbow alignment in, in place already so that when you bend forward, this forward bend is always the same. This is a condition where that posture, that spine angle, and then I can bring my, my feet in like that and I know I can feel where my weight is distributed. From here, of course, our right hip pullback puts more of the center of the balance into that heel ankle area for our backswing pivot. And then as I go up, there's no more aroundness taking place. It's all vertical motion up and down. Out is going to create a little bit of force towards the, the balls of my feet, but I'm also straightening up the left knee at this point. And of course the left hip is rotating away from the motion of my arms and, and club going towards the follow through and finish. So I'm just going to make a swing and do it as slow as possible here and just show you how the full swing balance points will work. You can see at the end here how my left hip has arrived right over my ankle and my weight is left. And another great way to look at this is that 
This, these joints are designed to move like this. Your knees are not, so we want to make sure that your knees, when you hit the golf ball, your, your left knee needs to be straight and obviously neutral alignment so that your hip can rotate and provide space for the arms and club and, and the follow through to, to actually happen in more of an uninhibited flow versus something where you would be outside of your ankle and creating a lot of weight distribution towards the balls of your feet. This is not going to work because you're never going to get to your left side properly and be able to release the golf club. So we want to make sure that the weight stays back in the heels, the, the ankle to heel or what I call the arch to heel and, and rotates your knee into a firm and neutral alignment at the end here. It'll help save your joint and also make for a better follow through and finish. So good luck with this and remember, enjoy the hit.